I'm Megan Mitchell, I'm a chef and food stylist, and I'm your host of Make This Tonight. I don't know about you, but I've been cooking a lot lately, and I'm always looking for something different, new, versatile. I love taco night, it's one of my favorite nights of the week. This is my version of Flaky Fried Fish Fajita Bar, featuring Gorton Seafood Beer Battered Fish Fillets, smashed avocado, charred green onions and poblanos, a mango and pineapple salsa, and my cashew crema. So let's start with the peppers. I have four poblanos that I've charred over an open flame. So char them, place them in a bowl, cover with plastic. I want to steam them, that way the skin will come off super easily. So let this chill for 15, 20 minutes. And on to our fried fish. This is super easy. Sheet tray, and just open a bag. No battering. <laughs> no frying, I don't need a big pot of oil. I'm just gonna, boop. I love that these are whole fillets. They'll fit perfectly in the taco. It's wild caught Alaska Pollock, and they freeze it immediately, so it has that very fresh taste. You're gonna cook these for about 20 minutes, flipping halfway through, until an internal temperature reaches 165. Until they're golden brown, flaky, tender. They're very versatile. There's, I'm obviously putting them in my fajita bar, but you can put them in sandwiches. Serve it with like a cauliflower mash and some sauteed spinach. I like to keep a bag in my freezer, pop a couple out whenever I need it. I'm serving all of these today because I'm making a fajita bar. It's a party, guys. All right, let's pop these in the oven. All right, now let's talk sides and toppings for this fajita bar. I'm gonna start with my mango and pineapple salsa. It's a little sweet, spicy, tangy, bright, fresh, everything I'm looking for in a salsa. So I have some cubed pineapple. You want a pretty small dice. Add that in, and then cubed mango. Usually, you think of tomato salsa, this is a little different take. I think it pairs really nicely with the fish. One of my favorite places to vacation is Key West, and I feel like you see these flavors, these Caribbean-esque flavors with fish often. So it's kind of my nod. I'm traveling to Key West through this recipe. We're gonna add sliced jalapeno. Chopped cilantro. Green onions. A little onion bite. It's, it's milder than other onions, so I really like to use green onions. And I'm using lime zest as well as the juice. I want a strong lime punch <laughs> for this salsa. A pinch of salt and pepper. And the longer this sits, honestly, the better it gets. So if you want to make this a day or two in advance, go for it. So let this sit. This will go amazingly on the fish fajitas. I'm gonna set this. Ready to go. Now on to my avocado mash. So it's kind of my take on a guacamole, but no chopping involved. Very, very little. So we're gonna add green onions. I chop them, that's the only dicing and chopping. I chop them into one inch pieces. A jalapeno, again, if you don't like heat, you can take the seeds out. Cilantro. Lime juice as well as garlic. I grate it ahead of time. That way it just melts into the avocado. A little cumin for smokiness. And then a pinch of salt and pepper. I like to make it in a food processor because at the end of the day, I'm lazy, guys. And if I'm making an entire meal, I want some shortcuts here and there, right? So stick with me. I got tips and tricks, guys. <laughs> Woo! All right, that's it. That's how easy it is to make this. I have a bowl of mashed, smashed avocado. You know that potato masher that you use once a year? Use it for this. Just add in your mixture. Now let's stir this together. It'll be so good in this fajita bar. It complements but doesn't overwhelm the fish. And I put avocado on everything. It's done. Scoop it up. 
thick, creamy. I like to leave my avocado a little chunky. Avocado mash is done, salsa's ready. I'm gonna flip my fish, make my homemade crema, and show you how this all comes together. I'm just finishing up my poblano peppers. These are four poblanos. And let's add them to the skillet. All right, this is going. I am gonna flip my fish. I think it's time. 10 minutes, I can feel it. Ooh, -hoo. they're nice and golden brown. Look at that. I cooked up the entire bag because I'm having a fajita party. I can smell that beer batter when I'm flipping them. Flip them over and then pop them back in for another 10 minutes. Let's go. And if they move around, you can kind of spread them back out. You want to give them some space so they brown and crisp up evenly. Another 10 minutes. While those finish crisping up, we're going to work on our cashew crema. So often with tacos, tortillas, fajitas, you have something cooling, like a crema. I soak them overnight, so a cup of raw cashews, cover with cold water, leave them on your counter overnight, drain them, rinse them, and here they are. This is their day-long journey, and they showed up. So it just softens them up. When we blend them up, I want it to be very smooth and creamy. My water, sweet smoked paprika, cumin, and I'm also gonna add some minced garlic, a little salt and pepper, and then the juice of a lime. Okay, gotta make sure the lid's on. I've never done that before. You just wanna make sure it's smooth and creamy. There's no lumps. I'm gonna pour it into this dish and you can see. It's not super runny, but it's not super thick. I like that the paprika adds a little color to it. Crema, done. Cashew crema is done. All I have left to do is char my tortillas and then this whole thing comes together. I'm just finishing charring my tortillas. Cook them for like a minute or two per side. I have some I've already charred. And I like to keep them covered with a clean towel just so they don't dry out. It's time to grab our flaky fried fish fillets. I can smell them. They're calling to me. And they look gorgeous. Ooh, they're golden brown. Careful, it's super hot. You guys, those look so good. Let's plate these fillets up. Can you hear that? They're so crispy. I cannot wait to put these into a tortilla. Done. <laughs> That's it, we did it, success. And there we go, you guys. Our flaky fried fish fajita bar with the star of the show, our Gorton Seafood beer battered fish fillets that are just calling my name. We also have our smashed avocado, which is nice and cooling, our homemade crema, and then our mango and pineapple salsa. So I'm gonna make three different kinds. Look at all these colors. We have the green, the yellow, some fresh cilantro on top. It's light, but it's filling. Choose your own adventure fajita bar. Flaky fried fish fajita bar. All right, I'm gonna dig in. Da, 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 da. Can you hear how crispy that fish is? So crispy, but tender on the inside. And that salsa, that pineapple mango salsa, brightens it up. A little heat from the jalapeno, a little smokiness from the poblano. This is a killer fajita bar. I hope you make this recipe. I know I'm gonna make it at least once a week, and I hope you do too. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna go back to eating. Don't judge. <laughs>